Hey guys, Mr. Wajid al here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be using the PS5 and showing you how to use the stand in both horizontal and vertical. First I'm going to show you how, we, how to do it flat. So I don't recommend using it without the stand flat because uh, it's just put all the weight in the one corner because it's like a curved design. So it's not very good to use it like that long term. So it's better to have a stand. Also, it'll be better for cooling with having the stand on. So I'm going to show you this way first. So you want to turn it backwards so you can see the back first. And can you see these X, these squares, circle, triangle, blah, 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 blah. That's where your stand's going to go. So you want your stand in this position. So sideways and that facing in the corner. If it's, if your stand isn't that way, you could just twist it yourself. So you don't want it that way. That's for the other position. You want it fully this way, like that. Okay, all you do now is just make wait, let me just make sure that's fully to the right. Okay, so do you see these two marks here? What they're going to do is they have to sit on these squares, they have to sit there. That's where its sitting position is. So, so what you're going to do is just literally lift it, put it on top, and then with both hands, you're going to put this to there. All you're doing is putting it together. One second guys, I'll do that right now. All you're doing is literally just pushing it in place. I guess it's pretty much in place right now. So all I'm going to do now is push it in, like push it. So I'll click under there. Can you see that? It doesn't make a clicking noise, but you'll know when it's in. It's very tight. It's a good fit. I guess that's in now. So it's over the squares. So you can't see the squares at all. That's a really good fit. I like that. So you can see these marks. These are... Uh, you can only see the holder from the back. From the front, you will not be able to see the holder, which is good. Let me show you the front. So it gives like a floating design, which is pretty cool. So it looks like it's floating, as you can tell, as you can see. So look from the front, you can't see anything. So that's really cool. I guess I'll show you the other way to now mount it. Yeah, one second. So just to take this off, all you do is push it, pull it back off. That's it. Simple as that, guys. So I like how PlayStation's done this, by the way, guys. Sony, I mean. Wow, that's very heavy. All right. So to get it in vertical position this way, you want to twist this around till it's fully clicked in place like that. Come on. It's very hard with one hand. And there'll be a screwdriver underneath. A screw, I mean. There you go. It's clicked in place. Okay. That's lined up now. That's straight. You go screw there. You want to take that screw out. Just pull that up and pull it. There you go. So this is the screw you get very easy to do this by the way guys and uh, there's your mount i love how they thought of all this okay so let me just show you the back okay so there's the back so this is actually for the thingy stand so you just take this off and they've actually thought of everything there's literally a hole to keep this safe there you go as you can see it just sits in there so you got stand for that as well guys i guess now don't lose your screw like I nearly did because I have a brown floor, not brown, grey floor, and that's a grey screw. So all you're doing with this is hooking it on the left and right. Can you see the screws here? Hooking it on the left and right. And then, it'll get a better fit here once you screw it in place. But yeah. Okay, so the screw just literally goes in there. So that's where the other hole was underneath and this is the other hole there. As you can see, it's gone straight through. And then what you use is uh, something, you can either use something flat to turn it or a screwdriver. Oh, let me try to use this ruler. Let's see if I can do it with the ruler. If I can do it with the ruler, then you might as well do this in school. Okay, you might as well do it in school. I can do it with the ruler. So that's how easy it is, guys. Come on. As you can see, it's getting tighter. You probably do need a screwdriver or thinner ruler. Ugh. Come on. It's almost there guys, it's getting tighter, so yeah, just keep tightening that, I could probably do that by hand for now. So hold in place, just push it down and then hold in place, it's very hard with one hand. Right, so I'm just going to screw this in properly and then I'll show you one second. Alright guys, I didn't even need a fucking screwdriver, I just used the ruler, it actually works, just use the corner of the ruler. So that's very tight on there now, so the way that would stand is, like this, uh, I'm gonna have to pause the video because it's very heavy. Or oh, I'll get my brother to do it. Go on, just lift it up and put it straight. 
put it forward so I can see the forward bit. So this is how it will what the, what the hell man? This is how it's gonna look on the front. That way, that way a bit. Towards me. Is yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is why you mean this is why they need to send school children back. Put it forward man. This <laughs> facing forward. The front of it. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There you go. So that's how it's gonna look guys. But obviously it'll be on a flat surface, not like my floor. So that's how it's gonna look. I'm gonna keep it this way around, not like that. Because knowing these idiots, one of the idiots will push it by accident or kick it by accident. It'll go flying to Africa, it'll go out the window, and the next neighbor will steal it. So make sure. I'm gonna put it the other way. So, anyways, guys, that's how you use this stand. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll do more tips and tricks and everything, whatever. <laughs> Goodbye.